Okay. Yes. And I'm um, just yes. calling in relation to a complaint that you had sent in, and I just wanted to find out some more information and see if I can resolve that for you. Okay. Uh, would you like to tell me what happened, please? Um, I actually spoke to somebody from um, an Idaho office the other day, and he's already given me the $99 credit. Right, because that's what but I was calling want, about, you see. Do you want me to... Yeah, do you want me to explain to you what happened? Yes, please, because maybe we can offer some compensation. But also, I don't know if you are aware, but there's been a problem with the refund. Okay. Uh, but go ahead, tell me what well, happened. Well, he he refund he put a credit on my account. Yeah, um, he wasn't really authorized to do that. I'm afraid we, we had to take that credit away, but I'm just calling to see if I can do something about that for you. Okay, well, what had happened is the week of, I believe it was August 20th, um, my husband had called in because our boxes were freezing. My husband's actually in the car with me, so he can jump in whenever also with this conversation but our boxes were freezing my husband called direct tv and the lady he spoke with told him that that there could possibly be dust on the boxes okay well there's no dust on any of my boxes my house is very clean and that is that all she said what else did she say well what happened was i called i called him and you know, she went through and like rebooted it. I, I was getting that code like 775 and it was losing big satellite signal. And I explained to her, I believe it's either the switch in the attic or something wrong with my satellite. Okay, because I'm, I'm in the business. And so I told her that, so anyway, she went through this thing and I don't know. But anyway, all they did is they reset it. I said, listen, that didn't fix it. It, it just it flashes on and off. You know, it happens every day. I all my recordings. I said, I just want someone to come help. She goes, up oh, the problem solved. Or, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. I'm sure you guys record it. So it's quite a... She couldn't tell me how the problem was solved. And she didn't know, have enough knowledge. So anyway, I just got set up. And I, I should have just called every day. Every single day I should have called. I just get frustrated when I have a service for 15 years or longer, and, and I, I upgraded. They talked me into an upgrade. To be honest with you, let's, you know, then we're just going to be watching stuff off the, you know what I mean? So anyway. Um, but to make a long story short, I, I tried to explain to her, but I just got frustrated where. And she said there could possibly be dust on the box. So anyway. Who cares about that? Think that's besides <laughs> the point. When the guy came out, it's exactly what happened. Well, let me get up to the rest of that. So anyway, that was one phone call. And then I had ordered a flight uh, for August 26th. I had about 30 to 40 people at my house. I had a big party. We were all watching the fight. It froze in the middle of the fourth round. So then, no, oh. it was the fourth. I, I oh, it came back on. Okay, no, it came back on. In the, so then it came back on in the seventh round. Meanwhile, I took pictures of the TVs that were frozen and a picture of my microwave with the time. I tried calling the number that I have that's programmed in my phone, and it said their offices were closed. Okay, so now I'm really pissed off. I've got a house full of people. You know, I paid 100 bucks for this fight, and then it comes back on the seventh round. Okay, the very next morning I call, and the lady told me, okay, you got to go online, blah, 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 upload whatever pictures you have, file a complaint, which I did. And I don't have my notes in front of me, but I called on September 9th and because I hadn't heard anything. And the person I spoke to, which I have all the notes at home with his ID number and everything, he said I would be getting a full refund. Then I called again on, I believe it was the 14th, and I spoke to somebody again, have all their info, and he said the same thing. I would be getting a full refund. Then I spoke to somebody on September 21st who said the same thing. I'd be getting a full refund, and each time they told me it'd be seven to ten days. Well, almost a month by now, and, and I still haven't got my refund. So I call. Uh, I got a message from somebody from DirecTV, 
CPD saying it was escalated to the back office and I'm not getting the refund. So I called and argued with them and got pissed off. So then I sent a letter to the El Segundo corporate headquarters and a certified letter that's been delivered stating, you know, I'm very unhappy with the customer service that I've been a customer for a very long time and I'm, I want my refund. That's, you know, I was told by three different people, didn't get it. So then I got a phone call. I actually had to call um, CenturyLink for my son's direct TV to change the packaging. And I was speaking to the lady there and then she had somebody call me and the man that I spoke with was very nice. I explained the same thing I'm explaining to you. And he said, he would be crediting me the $99 to my account. Fine. Done. And then now you're calling. Okay. Wow. Sounds like it's been quite a saga, and I'm really sorry that, that this has happened. Um, wow. Goodness. Um, so, yeah, just to let you oh, know. Then, let me just backtrack just a tad. After I had called on the 27th, they actually sent somebody out, the technician, and he, now my husband can tell you what was broken. That's exactly what it was. It was either the switch or the satellite. He changed up the head of the satellite and the switch and he got rid of it. And now we don't have the problem. But, you know, the whole thing was when I came up and got an upgrade, we were having problems, right? And, and we went ahead and we did this up. They talked me into it. You know, now I'm in a two year. I'll tell you what I want to do is what is the buyout where I could just quit? Because I'm at the point now, I just, I think. You know, I got stuck in this. Said, oh, we're gonna up, we're gonna redo your whole system. Well, they didn't they didn't redo the whole system. They didn't change the satellite, nor did they did the, the switch. And I probably should have had all that done in this in this package deal that I did in this new two year. You know what I'm saying? I, it should have all been completed, and we probably wouldn't even be here doing this. But wow. I'm kind of at the point now where. You know, Netflix is pretty well fine with me. Okay, well, just to let you know, and I am so sorry about this, but the person you spoke to the other day, I believe that was Jeremy, um, he wasn't authorized to, to make a credit for that amount, for such a high amount. So that, that request was rejected. However, um, I am here with a with a senior supervisor. We're going to see if we can get that put back on or get you some kind of refund. Just just some way to just really apologize for everything that you've been through. Um, because we are obviously awfully, you know, sorry that you, you've had to go through all this and the, you know, the time well, that the you've spent. Well, the fact is there was a problem and the original mm. um, person I sp we spoke to on the phone didn't know what the hell she was talking about. And I'll tell you, if I don't get my refund... I will just cancel my service, go elsewhere, and then I'll see you guys in court. Because I'm, I'm not going to pay a buyout. I don't care what my husband says. Because okay. Okay. this is, I should, I've literally spent probably eight hours on the phone and writing oh. letters and emails and this and that and explaining the same thing over and over and over again. My time is very valuable. And, sure. I think you should have put a satellite in there in the first place. And it's just, this is just ridiculous. You go to HD and all this stuff and they don't even put a, you know. So we're not very happy, especially now that you've called and said that they took the credit back. Now I'm really pissed off. Okay, okay. What, what I'm going to do at this point... Um, I'm going to get my senior supervisor in here, okay, and we're going to come up with a better solution for you. Does that sound okay? That's fine. Okay. Sure. Are you okay to wait on hold just for, for about 30 seconds while I get my supervisor in here? Yes. Thank you very much. I'll be right back with you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hey, Dolores, are you there? Hey, yeah, this is Dolores. How can I help you? 
Hey Dolores, this is Ron in customer service. Um, I've got a customer on hold at the moment. They're just listening to the music. Um, wow, they, they, they are really pissed off. Uh, this is the, the complaint that we've received. And uh, uh, th this is about the they had some dust on the box and it was freezing. And uh, Jeremy had originally offered them a $99 credit, which was rejected for obvious reasons. And oh, I know. I I just called to kind of get their side of the story, and this woman has been a real bitch. Um, she's she's got a husband with her, and uh, they they're just screaming and bitching and whining. Um, she she wants a refund. Obviously, she wants a bunch of money back. Um, uh, okay. she's wait, wait, is really this the lady that Jeremy and... kept talking about her dusty box? Sorry, my headphones keep cutting in and out. This equipment's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is the bitch with the dusty box. Um, oh so... yeah, the dusty box lady. That was great. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so I mean, they're threatening to to cancel their account or whatever, but they don't want to pay the buyout. Um, do you maybe want to just oh talk God. to this old bitch and see if you can reason with her? See, you can see what you can do? I don't know what we can do. I mean, Jerry took the money and he fled. You know, I mean, he got fired we... over the dusty box comments. Our boss heard him and he doesn't have a sense of humor like that. Can I Can I give her, like, say, a $100 credit or refund or just something to shut the bitch up and then hopefully she'll, she'll go away? No, not a hundred dollars. So this is over the fight. She couldn't watch the fight if she watched part of the fight. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, she's, oh my god. She's been on hold for a couple of minutes. So yeah, can oh, I can I get can I get happening? permission to give her a hundred dollars? <sighs> no, give her fifty dollars because if she watched the fight, you know, she got some of the service, but you know, but oh. nothing we could do about Jeremy. He's gone. All right, cool. Okay, can, I, can, I bring, can I bring can I bring you in if she's still being a bitch? Yes, I am. Oh, sure, but remember, no jokes about a dusty box or her box being <laughs> yeah. old and dusty and cobwebby. I'll, you know, don't do that. I'll try. All right, the bitch has been on hold for a few minutes now. Let me take her off hold and speak to her. Thank, thanks, Dolores. I'll bring you in if oh, I no need problem. to. no problem. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Hello there, ma'am. I'm so sorry to have kept you for so long. Uh, hello. Um, can, I, can I just grab your name just real quick, please? What was your name? Oh, certainly. My name's Ron. Ron, and, and where, what, do you have an employee ID number or something? But I can just jot, I'm taking a note. Uh, yes, of course. My employee ID is 162-5398. Uh, okay, so anyways... You're speaking to the real bitch, the dusty box lady. Yeah, the crazy lady. Yeah, the crazy lady. Every single thing you guys, recorded, every every you guys, thing you guys <laughs> just talked, you and Dolores <laughs> talked about me. And and, 50 bucks. Yeah, just $50. I have it all recorded. I have the whole thing recorded <laughs> because you did not put me on hold. I could hear everything. We heard everything you two were saying corresponding yeah. about me and my husband. They want to fight now. And... Get Dolores back on the phone on a three-way call right Just now. Just like you did. Just like you did, but I oh. can talk to her too. Oh, ma'am, I'm not yeah. so sure what what happened. Yeah, no, um, going to yeah. I'm pissed, and I'm a bitch. You called me a bitch three times, and you know what? I am a bitch. And I'll tell you, that's why I asked for your employee ID number, dude, because I am going to have your fucking job. Who the hell do you think you are? Ma'am, please you don't swear. That you were talking to. Now I'm a real fucking bitch. So get the glass on the phone now. Ma'am, ma'am, please don't swear. Okay, I will have to terminate the call if you use that kind of language. You just called me a bitch three times. Three times. Can you get your head, your ass, and get the glass on the phone to talk to the dusty box lady? Crazy. I think she's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am. Ma now, because, dude, you know what? I'll tell you, I'm a nice person. I give to my community. I do a lot of nice things. I'm one not kindest person in the fucking year in my town. You want to see a bitch? Boy, you just fucking met one. So get her on the phone. No. I want her on the phone now. 
Ma'am, you are going to have to calm down, okay, before I get my supervisor on, please. Yeah, okay. you get her on the phone, please. Okay, you just you just take a deep breath there, honey. I'm going to get the supervisor, okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tell her she might want to put some earplugs in. Ma'am, this okay. If you if you're gonna threaten us, you know, uh, I please you. just get her on the phone. I'm done talking with you. Please get her on the phone. All right, I'm gonna have to put you on hold for for another few seconds while I get Dolores back in here. Okay. Okay. Th thank you, ma'am. Can you imagine? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you listen. Don't get off like a I'm so. I'm so mad. Tom, I don't. He just called me a bitch three times. I understand. Pissed off. Life. Crazy. Dust. Box lady. Yeah. Fuck her. But listen. We have it all recorded. I'm simply my service. I know. Oh, I'm sure he's telling her, oh boy. Oh boy. And I've got his employee ID number. You know what? I'm going to take the day off. Next week, or past day, and I'm driving to El Segundo to their corporate headquarters, and I'm going to demand to speak to somebody. I don't know. Oh, does it matter? Do you know that? I'll bring her. Oh, <laughs> Dolores, are you there? Dolores. Hello. Hello. Are you oh, there? Hey, Ron. How you doing? Did oh, you get man. that dusty box lady straightened out? No, no. This bitch is going fucking crazy. Um, no. Apparently, she's still I don't know what happened with the phone system, but apparently she could hear us somehow. And she, oh, she's pissed. She's really pissed. What'd you do to make her so angry? I, I didn't even. I was gonna offer her the money, but she was. She's just screaming and shouting. Can I please bring you into the call? You. You can try and deal with this bitch. Sure, I'll see what I can do. All right, give me about ten seconds, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna patch her back on the line. Thanks, Dolores. All right, honey, you do that. Hi there, ma'am. I have Hello, Dolores here on the line. Go ahead, Dolores. Yeah, this is Dolores. Um, How may I help you? What's going Dolores, on between you and Ron? Uh, uh, Ron, just so you know, when you are talking to Dolores, we or Dolores, it. I can hear everything, and I just heard you call me a bitch multiple times again, and Dolores calling me the dusty box lady. And Dolores, I heard your original conversation with Ron. I heard everything that was said, and my husband has it all recorded. Um, just give me fifty dollars. Shut the dusty box, crazy box lady up. Um, Ron called me a bitch a couple times. Now, Three. Now she's really the bitch is really. Dead. Yeah, now the bitch. What did you do, Ron, to piss her off? What we did is we listened to your guys' conversation. I don't. I think it's really unprofessional. Um, I can play some back if you want to listen to it. But you it's don't funny. Permission to record I, our voices for bitch. one and two. Don't talk over me, sir. Was the problem that your box was dusty? Yes or no? Whoa! So that ended up being what happened is is uh, they they came and gave me an upgrade, whatever. They probably should have changed everything out. However, they didn't change out the satellite. What happened was the they came. We had a person. Her phone's a dusty. <laughs> All right. Hello. 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 Hey, yeah, this is Dolores again. We got disconnected. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, they, the guy came out, and I, I tried to explain the second time when I called because I, I'm kind of in the business, and I told him it's got to be something losing. It has to be in the satellite uh, or the switch in the attic, okay? And so, sure enough, the tech came out, and that's what he replaced, and everything's been working fine. I upgraded, I don't know when I upgraded, but I probably upgraded somewhere, I don't know, first of the year. And I almost at that time, because we were having the same problems with the box, and, and we had an older box, and we went to finally went, you know, the high, you know, we did the whole whatever. So I changed out everything under my, uh, I don't know, I just, they sold me on it, and I did it for, you know, two years, and I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass. 
and then I had these problems, which I think if I would have, when I did this complete upgrade, we probably, the whole thing should have probably been done instead of having stuff that's been out there for 15 years. Well, I think they've changed the You know, I've been a, a good customer since probably 2002 or so, somewhere in there. And anyway, <clears throat> it gets frustrating because I did call prior and I was hoping it'd all be fixed and, it, and then it just happened. And then, and then this happened, which is amazing. <laughs> that this guy, we told him the second time that we, and he put us on hold again. And he, and he kept calling and me and a bitch. And he just calls my wife a bitch. And you know what? So what? We're, we're frustrated. <laughs> but goddamn, <laughs> it's, it, it's amazing. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know where I'm going to go with this yet. Okay, well, I got to ask a couple <laughs> questions. Now, yeah, dust is a problem. In- Dolores, let me just tell you, okay, I have a cleaning lady that comes twice a week to my house. My house, you okay. can eat off my floors. My house is immaculate. It's fine. I mean, okay, I there was no it. dust on the box. And for your service tech that my husband talked to after going through everything and saying that there was dust on the box is absolutely ludicrous. And, all right, I'm sorry. I've got to go through and ask these questions. This, this is our standard operating procedure, these, ma'am. Excuse me? I have to ask these on, questions. This is our standard operating procedure. And when you're screaming at me, you get distorted. I can't hear you very well. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're on a speaker. I'm, you're on my car Bluetooth yeah. thing. So um, the thing is, is I spoke to several different people, Okay. I have three people told, telling me I get a full refund. Then I've had somebody tell me I'm not. I sent a letter to corporate headquarters. I had this guy call me the other day from Idaho telling me I dollars back. He put it on my account. Now it's been taken back. Now this wrong guy called me. I explained the whole thing. He was very sympathetic. Then he gets you on the phone. Which um, you know, was called a bitch, and you called me a crazy box, dust box lady, and whatever. You know, it, you should be glad I have a good sense of humor because I'll tell you, I, we're going to dinner with friends tonight, and that's going to be our topic of conversation. And then I tell him that Sounds we heard the whole conversation and that we actually, my husband recorded it. And then he says, Well, oh dear, I'm going to get, I said, I want to talk to Dolores. And he does the same thing and says, oh, this bitch. Now ma'am, she's really ma'am, pissed. Ma'am, on and on if, and I, <laughs> um, if I may interject for a moment there, this is Ron again. Um, I just want to state yeah. for the record, you didn't have permission to record our voices, okay? This is a two-party <laughs> consent state. And you, you, Take you, me to you're court. Not a, you're not Take allowed to, to do that. <laughs> you know what? Your calls are recorded, are they not? That's is irrelevant. That that, that's irrelevant. Is, this is a business you, line. This is a business is this, line. Let me just ask you: Is that's the call that we're this, 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 is the call that I'm I am speaking to you and Dolores? Is this call being recorded for training purposes? That's private right. information, ma'am. Here that's, she's screaming. Yeah, ma'am. I'm pro- sorry, it's all distorted. I can't hear anything. Just mark it down as a, a hostile customer, you know, because we don't need this yeah. abuse. Ma'am, we've marked your account as a hostile customer, okay, just so you know, because of all the screaming and, and shouting and swearing, okay? Pay for you to call me a bitch five times in a conversation that, with Dolores. That's that, okay. That didn't what happen. Kind? That didn't what kind happen. Of are you okay? guys running? I don't I'm not going to let this go. I'll just, Mom, let it you know go. What? Let it go. All right. Ma'am, just let it go and go with Dish Network. Direct TV blows. You know, and I've worked here for 15 years. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I didn't She's hear breaking you. up again, you Ron. Know, I'm sorry. I can't hear her. You can laugh at me because, you know what? I'll I'm tell not you. laughing, ma'am. I'm being serious. I'm a lawyer. I, I am a lawyer. Oh. And I, 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 I'll tell you. I don't and my know husband works on the docks. What's your point? Training you guys go through, but you're so <laughs> you're so unprofessional. Ma'am, this is no, we try to be professional here. Don't don't I'm you sorry, don't you hear you ever... screaming? Ma'am, ma'am, you need to stop the screaming. Okay, look. Uh, listen, 
I'm let not me, screaming. I'm driving in my car. You're Tell on my Bluetooth. This is, I'm not screaming at you. Ma'am, ma'am, stop shouting, okay? Okay, I just want to say for the record, okay, nobody meant to offend you, but you just need to calm down, okay? Ron, I'm not screaming at you. Okay, it's echoing. My my Bluetooth is echoing through my car. Ma'am, you've got this really you've you've got this really loud kind of nasally whiny voice. Okay, and it's really hard to understand on the phone. That's all we're saying. Okay, well, yes, I do have a whiny voice, and yes, I'm loud, but I'm not screaming. Okay, what but did I you say? say did you I say am something? very. I mean, it's quite comical that you guys. <laughs> Talk about your customers in the manner you do. I mean, I've never, I've never heard of anything like this. But I am going to go to work Monday morning and speak to my boss and the rest of my firm and see what I can do about this because I've never, ever been treated like that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a little insulted. I mean, I would have rather have you say to me before going to Dolores, thinking that I wasn't listening, say, hey, Mrs. Bledsoe, you're being a real bitch. And I would have said, yes, I am. All right, ma'am, to, to, to be honest, ma'am, to be honest, ma'am, yeah. shut up, shut up. All right, ma'am, you are being kind of a bitch, okay? I'm, I'm there, I've said it. Okay. Thank you. you. I am a bitch. You I'm are, an attorney. I have are, been for 30 years. So, you are a real bitch. You know, What's the problem? For bitches. You admit you're a bitch, so what's the problem? And what are you going to sue for? Someone called you bad names on, uh, over the phone? You're going to sue you know, for that? I, well, first of all, first of all, the lawyer, you should I know that you need hold. our consent to record so our voices. So probably learn how to use the phone stick. system. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, that's I, a good point, actually. Ma'am, shut up. Shut up. Dolores just made a very good point there. As a lawyer, you should be aware that you're not allowed to record our voices. I can record whatever I want no, as long as I don't use that. No, no, okay? it's a two-party consent yes, state. Two-party yes. consent you state. Know, I, don't know, I don't know if you're from England or where you're from, um, Australia from or somewhere. America. But he you moved know what? here. I'm in now the you're being prejudiced. States. Are you being prejudiced against him? Ma'am, ma'am, I'm, I'm American. All right, I'm a red-blooded American. How dare you? How dare How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> How did you do that? No, no, you know what? Shut up. You know what? Let me just tell you. Every single service rep I've you know what, spoken to at you know what, ma is from overseas. You know what, ma'am? You, know you shut up. And You're a racist. You can just shut up now. Shut up. All. all right. I just hope she shut doesn't up. have any clients that are not the same, you know, uh, color as her. Yeah, ma'am. You're a, you're a racist. You can just shut the hell up now, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna okay, apply. I'm, I'm gonna apply it. some additional <laughs> charges to your account. I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna apply the whiny bitch fee to your account. Okay, that's gonna run you two hundred dollars for being a whiny bitch. All right. You do that, and you know what? You can take it and shove it up your ass. How, How dare about you? that? Because How I'm not done you? with this. You, you just wait, Ron. Man, we you don't just want wait. your dusty box up you our asses. Yeah, ma'am. You and your law. <laughs> Jesus God.